Okay, let's move on to the charitable uh, contributions, noting and recalling to keep straight in our mind the normal or natural types of deductions for an income tax versus deductions that are kind of unusual for it. A normal kind of deduction for income taxes would be those expenses that you need to expend in order to generate the revenue, which can clearly be seen most easily on something like business income that often is reported on a Schedule C where you have income minus the expenses you needed to generate the income. That makes sense from an income tax perspective because you don't want to tax people on their gross income, but on their net income. However, most people have W-2 income, in which case we're assuming that the expenses were provided by the employer. Remember that the itemized deductions, what we're talking about now, are usually not natural to an income tax system. They're not things that are used to help to just generate revenue so the government can stay out of our business and just protect us with the military, but rather they're designed to nudge us in particular directions, which clearly is what is happening with charitable deductions. They're, the argument would be that they're trying to incentivize charitable contributions. A cynic might say that they're trying to tell us which contributions or which charities are worthy of our donations uh, and direct the money where they want it to go kind of thing. But, but that's the idea. So we have to then think about those charitable contributions in alignment with the Schedule A deductions. So gifts by cash or check.